Again, you got to be careful. There's a shot, and there's a goal. First goal of the game. Now, I want to point out, watch how much, and this is Wait, where How I, old are these I, guys? I, no, these are full, these are, these are, I thought they were like young guys. This guy's got tattoos. No, there, there's retired guys, and I think, it said there's uh, current players. I'm not familiar with them. They're in the, they just graduated from the fifth tier, the real team, Rex, which just graduated from the fifth tier of English soccer to the fourth tier which is a big deal because those are considered like the highest tier, the top four. And uh, it has retired players and former players and I guess a couple current players. I don't know, but I wanted to point out how much the women's goalie cares. She gets pissed for the first few goals at least, and she cares. And that's going to come into play like the two sides, I think, that are uh, uh, at odds here. Goes to Wrexham. It's for the keeper. Nice spin move here by Lloyd. Lloyd fires and scores back-to-back goals. Another shot and another goal. And yes, it's Lewis Lloyd again. <laughs> Lewis Lloyd should count himself so off of him. It's a big ask, but well, there's you don't have any transformers. Able to turn and get See, she goal. clearly so cares. Four nothing. And now a takeaway. What the hell was that? But Trundle <laughs> able to keep it. With the left and Trundle with his... She's not even close. Yeah, so far, so good in this game. So far, so good. Another goal as George Boyd. George Floyd? Trundle? Dude, Got okay. a hat trick. Yeah. The- See, for the first five goals, she clearly cared. We'll play out the rest of them here. They get to 12. Um, Eric, what I wanted to focus on for this is the fact that you know, here's the here's the the competing mindsets I think we have here. You've got a bunch of women who want to play soccer, and they're going to get crushed. I mean, everybody knows this. Unless these guys were in wheelchairs or 70 years old, they're going to get beaten. That's not to be insulting. That's just the reality. So what do you do? Now, if we read some of the, and that's the 12th goal where they, where they lost. If we read some of the comments here, the women were in very good spirits. I mean, there, this interview with the girl, um, this player here, she was like, where are you, Ryan Reynolds? You should be here to support your team. How dare you? And in a joking manner, and albeit before they got crushed, that's what she was saying. And then there is another girl who says, Rob there? The line. no, neither of them were there. I wonder why. Um, why would they not go to see their, their own team kick the crap out of a bunch of girls? <laughs> this girl said, we're super proud after the game. Excuse me. Hopefully we proved to anybody. Just go for it. Just live. What's the worst could happen? We lose 60, nothing. <laughs> um, what's this one say? We don't care because we're living. We're being told we're being or bold and we're being brave. Here we are. Two amazing products that of American soccer fans getting behind. It's just a ton of fun and brought us all together. See, I like that. that that's the problem here is the girl. You say to the girls, there's a million dollar prize on the line. So you can't blame them for trying. And then the girls, you say, um, I mean, if anybody has to, these girls are professional soccer players. They probably don't think that they're going to win because most of the time when you ask the non Serena Williams is, or that's new Serena Williams. She used to say stuff back in the day that was more sensible. If you don't ask, um, who's pink hair lady, Eric, the soccer player, Rapino, Megan Rapino. If you don't ask non-binary Quinn, Canadian soccer player goes by one name, like share. If you don't ask them, all the girls are going to say, yeah, the guys are better than us than us. So these girls going in this, knowing that they're probably going to lose and a million dollars is just a dream that they're going to have there. And having these great spirits at the end, how you can't blame them for that. The people, and then the other side of it is you're setting these women up to be crushed. So as long as these girls are okay with it and they're not saying that this isn't fair, which I don't think they are, I don't have a problem with this at all. It's going to be the people who say, you know, well, here's a reason why we should play against each other, which doesn't make any sense. Um, so I think those are the competing sides of, do you go with, it's cool that the women play cause they, they're not, they're taking it well and they're not like social justice warriors or should the men be like, y- this is the reason why you can't play with us. I think if this is a tournament, um, where a million dollars is on the line, you kind of have to be like, well, what qualifies this girl's team over a men's team that could actually win the million dollars? That's a bit of a problem, but uh, otherwise I don't blame the women for this at all. Okay, well, look, it's incredibly not entertaining. This is not on the radar. It does not matter. <laughs> Americans are not very likely to watch soccer as it is. And then you put 
I mean, like, okay, fine, whatever, have fun. I, I got no beef, right? Like you said, if you guys aren't pretending, if you guys aren't pretending, oh, this is so unfair, blah, blah, like, you know, trying to force a false reality on us, 100% fine. But who is this for? Who is this supposed to entertain? Everybody knew the outcome. Everybody knew what was going to happen. It was like a charity thing. Like, what am I missing here? What was this even for? Like, it's like I said, it's a tournament with yeah, but tournament with thirty-two teams where the prize is a million dollars. Okay, so, but here, here's my thing. I wouldn't even know this tournament existed if the women hadn't played. And now that the women got the crap kicked out of them, they're gone. I'm not going to pay attention to it. Maybe that's the maybe that's the plan. Maybe. I mean, it's just completely, uh, this is a non-issue for me. Like, I don't, I, dude, I, I think cares? the reason why people are saying, well, because some people are saying, well, this is another example as to why men shouldn't be in women's sports because old men will crush these women 12 nothing in 40 minutes. It says here the first um, seven goals or whatever were scored in the first 20 minutes. I mean, it, so I think. Look, I, I'm no, so- I'm, I'm the furthest thing from a soccer expert. I don't really know anything about the sport, but from those <laughs> clips that I just saw, it didn't even, it wasn't even close. Like it looked like it was gl- like a glitched out video game. Like he, 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 the guy almost looks like he, like they're moving almost like at half speed. Like they're not even giving it a hundred. And the girl's like lobbing, the goalie's like lobbing over and he, like, bro, it's it, here. I want to bring in a perfect sign. Maybe not perfect, but you do know I love the Seinfeld references. It's like when George bets Jerry that he can touch the awning on his building and he doesn't even come <laughs> in five feet of the thing. It's like you're not even close. Like w- w- it's just a waste of time. But whatever. Shout out to them if they if if they had fun and they're not complaining and they're keeping they're being realistic, then fine. We can go with that. But it, it's boring to watch. Turn it up, Jordan.